Hey guys, in this video, I will show you some simple ways you can easily optimize your Google business profile. If done properly, Google business can be a game changer for your local business. It's a fantastic tool to improve your local SEO and get more customers. Did I mention that it's completely free? Let's dive in. Once you have the profile set up, make sure to navigate to your Google business profile manager page. For the purpose of this video, I've created a fake business by the name of Blue Pine Hair Salon. And the key tabs that we'll be focusing on today is the info, reviews, photos, and then products and services. Let's go over to the info tab first. The info tab is going to be where the, a lot of the details show for the profile. So these are details that will display on search and maps when customers are looking for businesses. We'll start right up the top here. This is the title or the business name, and then you've got the primary category. For the business name, that can be edited, so make sure that it's professional and it reads exactly how you want customers to see it. With the primary category, it's set at hairdresser right now. That's what makes the most sense for the Blue Pine Hair Salon, but let's say you're a therapist, and if you type in therapist, you're gonna see some different options here. It could be a massage, could be physical therapist, occupational therapist. So make sure you select the right primary category for your business. Now that we have the business name and the primary category added in, let's scroll down a bit further here. You'll see an option to add in a location. Now, if your business does not have a physical location, you won't need to worry about this. You'll be just listed as a service area. But if you do have a physical location, even if customers visit on a rare basis, go ahead and add that location Proximity is a key aspect of SEO. If you want to be ranking in your local area, it's a really good idea to add your location if possible. Um, with those service areas, you can add up to 20. So any of your key target areas, these are neighborhoods, towns, cities, where you want to be performing, offering your product or service, make sure to get those added in. As we continue to scroll down here, we see hours of operation, any special hours, phone number, website, products and services. With, the, with this information here, make sure to fill this out in detail, just how you want the customer to see it on the profile so they have accurate information. With the phone number, make sure to go ahead and add the best phone number that customers can reach you directly at. Website, really it's best to add the home page of your website so customers can find information easily. Then with products and services, we can add them here, but we're actually going to talk about that in just a little bit. So we'll skip past those. And then if there's anything specific about the crowd, health and safety, how you take payments or service options, make sure to add that in the from the business section. And then lastly, the main two things I want to highlight here is the business description and opening date. The business description is a really a great way to give customers a brief outline and overview of what you offer and what your business is all about. So make sure to fill that in to make sure it's engaging and it's informative. With the opening date, this provides trust and value to the customers seeing how many years or how many months the business has been open. Now that we have most of the information filled out on the profile, we're going to touch on reviews. Reviews are a really key aspect to ranking higher on Google, especially within the local map pack. So this is the tab where you're going to see the reviews that come in once people leave them. It's also where you can respond to those reviews. It's best to respond to both the positive and negative reviews. It instills trust with the customers that are leaving the review, but also with the customers that are viewing the profile. So if you have reviews that come through, make sure to monitor those regularly on the reviews tab. Now, in order to gather more reviews, one thing that is really helpful is if you navigate to the home page and you scroll down, you'll see an option that says, get your first review. Go ahead and click the share review form button, and this will populate a link that's specific to your profile that you can send to clients through Facebook, uh, Instagram, other social media platforms. You can text message it, email it, whatever works best for you to leave. You know, this helps customers to easily leave a review. So make sure to send that out as much as possible to gather those reviews. It could be, you know, existing clients, past clients, 
whatever it might be, it's a really helpful way to gather more reviews. The next section I want to quickly touch on here is photos. Now this is where you can add in photos or even videos of your business. So make sure to add photos of your physical location if you have one, if you have specific work that you want to showcase to your customers, this is where you would add that. Add in a logo and a cover photo as well, just so customers can e easily recognize your brand and easily find your profile. This is a great way to build your brand reputation online. Obviously with all of these photos, make sure they're clean, they have high resolution and they look professional. The last two sections I wanna highlight here is products and services. So as I mentioned before, you can fill those out in the info tab, but it's a little bit easier just to fill them out here with products. If you have any products that you want to be seen more often online, or if you want them to be seen on the profile, this is where you'll add them in. You can go ahead and click that get started button to add in those products with services. Make sure to add in any services that you offer, especially if you want to be found for those services through the keywords that customers may be punching in on Google. So obviously with Blue Pine Hair Salon, we have hairstyling, balayage, highlights, any applicable services that you offer, you should add in there to make sure customers can find your business. To recap, focus on these areas when optimizing your Google business profile. Fill in detailed, accurate information, gather quality reviews, this is the number one ranking factor, upload quality photos from the business, and lastly, add in all relevant services or products. Manta offers affordable SEO and business listing management services for small businesses. Reach out to our experts to help your business get found online today.